In this short video, we'll see how to update a course that you've had migrated from Blackboard 8 into Blackboard 9. So I'll go into one of the courses that I teach, Quantitative Techniques, and this is what it'll look like, something like this, for what you've had copied across. It'll have the old menu buttons, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and ensure that the editing mode is on. I'm going to click on and choose the default theme, and that will just change the buttons here to the th default theme and the background color. If you want to choose any of the other ones, please do so. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up the menu. You can see that the project is no longer available to students, nor is backup material. So I'm just going to move both of those to the bottom. I'm going to add some dividers. So here I'm going to add a divider at this point at the bottom, and I'm going to move it up and just pop it under announcements. And I'm going to also add another divider and drag it up and just sim simply put it above contacts. So students will see, and I'm going to move course information down here. So I've got course information, contacts under the divider, and I'm, I'm also going to move the view results down here. Um, I'm going to change the view results so that it's hidden. So when students come in, uh, in September, they will not see the view results. And it's a good idea to make your menu as simple as possible for the beginning of term. So I'm going to also hide term two, um, and I'm going to hide the assessment section as well. So here, um, when a student comes in, if we turn the editing off, we'll see what it looks like for a student. They have announcements, they have term one notes, past papers, course information and contacts. I'm going to change the contacts name to staff information, but you can leave it as contacts if you want, if you want to use this area. So, um, sorry, I went to hide it. I don't want to do that. I just want to rename it. So I'm going to choose the rename option here, and I'm going to change that to staff information and click tick. I'd also would then the next thing to do in terms of tidying up would be to go into one of your terms and to go through each of your folders um, or ever, however you uh, organize your content and hide individual items. So if you want to hide a folder, you do it as before. You just simply go to the editing option and scroll down through and choose no, that you will not permit users to, uh, to view this. So when you go back into term one, you can see that it's no longer available. And if we look at it, if we turn editing off, we can see that that folder no, is no longer available for students. So I'd hide all the folders so that again, at the beginning of uh, the year, the student has very little in terms of what they can see. And then you'd gradually add more, making it easier, easy for the people to find what they want. The last thing to do in terms of just tidying up from last year is to add a home page to replace the announcements page and I'll show you that in the next video.